Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the clipping planes for your viewport. And to show you kind of what that means, if I have a cube like this, the default cube, and I focus in on something, you see how I'm very close and now it starts cutting off part of the cube. And this is caused by something called clipping planes. And to help you sort of visualize what this means, let me show you from the camera's point of view here. This camera has a view of this scene, and at some point it gets cut off. There's a distance at which things just don't render anymore. And so what's happening here when I get focused is that distance from the camera is basically anything that's closer to the camera than this line right here is getting cut off. So this is really easy to fix. All you have to do is go into the view here on this sidebar, and you can see the clip start. So clip right now is set to 0 0.01 meters, which is one centimeter, which means that right now I'm looking at this and there's parts of this cube that are closer than one centimeter. So we can change this to 0 0.001, and now I can see way closer. Of course, it still is gonna happen at some point. And I mean, I can keep going with this and add more zeros, um, but no matter what, you're eventually gonna have something where it's not gonna be able to render any closer to the screen than it is. But that's fine. Generally, you don't need to work any closer than this. And if you hit the limit, then you can always scale things up and work on them and scale them down later. So that's the clipping for the like the start, that's the nearer work that you might need to do in Blender. Now, what if things are really far away? So if I create a new plane in this case, and I'm gonna just tab into edit mode really quick and I'm gonna scale it up. It looks actually like that near clipping plane might be causing some weird artifacts here, which is interesting. Let's just uh, mess with this really quick and see if I do 0 .01, 0 0.001 if that fixes it. Yeah, interesting. I hadn't seen that before because I'd never tried to go so close, but now you have, so um, just be warned that some weird stuff might happen. So I'm gonna scale this up, and right now this is um, going into the item. It looks like this is about 13 meters, so if I scale this up by 100, then this will be over uh, a kilometer wide, right? So I'm just gonna scale it here, and I'll just do 100. And if I zoom out, at some point you can't see the thing anymore. And if you're working on like a terrain or a city or something like that, and you need a lot, you know, you need to have over a thousand meters, you're gonna start running into this problem. And this is just as easy to fix as when you're doing near work, you go into view and you can change this end clip and we can even up it to like 10,000. And now you can see the whole thing. Now, of course, if I zoom out, that same thing's going to happen, and you might have to keep going up to uh, whatever your needs are. But now, you know, I can I can start working on my terrain, and like in this case, maybe do something like this. And I'm I'm just gonna just for fun, like go into sculpting really quick. And if you switch into a different view, it's worth noting that it resets these. So you do have to set them per view. The good thing is that once you've set it for a view you can you can switch back and forth and you don't have to reset it every single time you switch just when you switch to a new view so i might start like building my my terrain here for my object in sculpt mode or something like this and then you know i i have that clipping view and i've got the ability to go in as far as as seeing this cube but i can also see things that are really far away So hopefully this is helpful. Um, I know that this was something that got me tripped up the first few times I got caught on, you know, making something really small or really big. Um, it's very easy to fix. And just to recap, you go to view and on this sidebar and you just change your clip start and your clip end to whatever works for you.